Well, I had a little bit of uh, time to spend in town today waiting for a BOD meeting. And what better place to spend it than at uh, the falls at Hogs Back in Ottawa. And uh, this is kind of the shoot that we have in the falls. And here's the kind of color that we're looking at right next to the, uh, the falls. We're uh, in a park next to Carleton University. And we can't see Carleton from here, but it's off in that direction, not too far down the river. Well, I'm standing a little further down the falls. And uh, there's the chute, and uh, here's some of the water as it boils out. And this is what the Rideau River uh, is at this point. This is where the Rideau River and the Rideau Canal separate. Just uh, on the other side of that row of vehicles that are going by, just on the other side of that is the Rideau Canal. This is what the back landscape is like. There's a couple over there taking pictures. And we'll see there's lots of fall color. Group of ladies in their uh, outfits taking pictures. More fall color. And uh, on and on it goes. This is the spot in the park where uh, all the high schools, uh, cross country running meets happen here in Ottawa. There I am parked down in the parking lot. And this is usually the start finish line of the race. When I was in high school a long time ago, off into those woods in the far background was what we called the Hogsback Quarry, where uh, lots of swimming and things happened, as is usual in the old quarries. I believe it's filled in now. I'm not sure I'm going to walk that far over. Well, I'm a little further down the river now. Those are the same apartments we saw before. And this is what the Rideau River looks like at this point. And actually we can see over here in the distance, this is the uh, Rideau Canal. I don't know if I'd be steady enough to show it. It's not full of water. It's dry at the moment. And that's because it's ready for uh, winter, setting up ice skating. Here we have... Uh, uh, mosque in the distance and uh, this is the direction of Carlton and somewhere back in there we're gonna find the uh, library tower which I'm going to show you again in a minute so, a little uh, activity in the park Well, I've actually had to move away from the Carleton University Library Tower, which is that building there. And uh, I'm at a, a different part of the park. But uh, I noticed also that this uh, particular view opens up a little bit more of some of the city skyline in this direction. Again, just a slightly different angle that may be going to get me a little, few more of the Carleton University buildings. You can see those are uh, some solar collectors on the roof of other buildings. And uh, that's some other buildings there. Part of, all part of the Carleton University campus. Right. Just uh, a, a little more activity in the park.
Now we're in the woods at Hog's Back, where the falls are. And we see what the trees look like. Some of them are pretty gnarly looking, like this one. And down at the base of this, what is this hole in here? Ooh, it's all black. There are lots of creatures live in the forest here. Ho, 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 ho. Well, this is a nasty split up. That's the base of that tree that we were looking at earlier in amongst the gnarly stuff. And it's all dead all the way up until we're looking almost straight up at it and it's dead. Uh, more gnarly woodland. Do you believe how gnarly this stuff really is in here? It's all black and twisted. Well now I'm at the top of the falls and this is what they look like on the way down. Well, this is right over top of the water now, looking straight down. You can hear a little more of the rush of the water as it heads down a little gorge here at Hog's Back. Down, I'm in the spray zone. This is the uh, one dam that's letting water through because the water is so low. Here we see the river above us. What we're damming up here for water control. where I got to move to next where all that mist is coming down. So it's going to be a while before I stop. Well, I'm out of the uh, misty zone and I'm coming down the uh, river as it comes into its shallow space. Some of the small secondary falls you can see from this side. You couldn't see originally from the top. This is the type of rock that we're uh, walking on here. You can see this one's really squirmy. I don't know what coming in really close is going to do. But uh, most of the rock that we're walking on is like that. And you see it's on all these various shelves and whatnot on this side of the fall where it's been sort of split open and uh, even on the back side of the fall, it's, it's very steep down to these uh, flat sedimentary rocks that look just like what we're standing on now. Some of the birds that frequent the uh, skies around here, I don't know if we can see them all in this picture, but uh, Lots of birds, geese. Okay, we'll try and get these birds more in the picture here. Oh, I can't see any in my little screen. This uh, little rift and um, this pool right here of water, this pool here, made for good swimming when I was a kid before uh, people started taking advantage and getting hurt diving into this uh, bubbling water here which would uh, exit further down the river. One last look, I'm almost in the misty part of the river. Before we look upstream at the calm Rideau River that looks big, that I think they haven't let the water out of yet for the winter. Just above the dams there. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm walking underneath the roadway and uh, hopefully gonna come out on the other side. Okay, so here we are at the top of the falls. 
What I'm doing is uh, focusing in, that's where the canal starts. As I say, the water's out of it for skating for the winter. Here's uh, some of the local wildlife. That's a uh, mallard. Uh, this is the canoe club. The uh, building looks quite a bit newer than I'm used to, the old canoe club. There she be. More housing of the rich and famous, whoever they happen to be. They got grease money to be able to build on the river. Down the river, which looks full and big. Uh, Mooney's Bay Park, where we have all the uh, events here in Ottawa during the summer. It's a nice sandy beach. They've got a big pipe in the water to, to pump fresh water from the center of the river over towards the beach so that it has better uh, water for swimming. And uh, there's uh, what used to be the boat launch, now parking lot. And uh, off to the top of the uh, waterfalls.